So this CISA certification, it has five domains. We have three columns in this table, domain name, and this domain's relevance to auditing and domain weightage. Hmm? Domain one is information systems auditing process. What is the relevance of domain one to auditing? It affirms your credibility and offers to offer conclusions on the state of an organization's information systems, IT security risk and control solutions. This domain has a weightage of 18%, uh, around uh, 27 questions. Second domain is governance and management of IT. This, how it is relevant to auditing, this domain confirms to stakeholders. When I say stakeholders, meaning each and any individual which is somehow related to the project, somehow related to your organizations. It can be your internal staff, it can be external terms, external staff like vendors, suppliers, okay. So this domain confirms to stakeholders your abilities to identify critical issues and recommend enterprise specific practices to support and safeguard the governance of information related technologies. When I say governance, governance is nothing but to govern, to monitor. This domain has weightage of 18%, approximate, uh, you know, 27 questions. The third and fourth domain, okay, this is not proof not only of your competency in IT controls, but also how you understand, you know, IT relates to business. This is very, very, very important. IT is always related to business and throughout the session, uh, uh, whenever you do CISA course or some of you already have been, all domains talk about this, okay. Domain three, information systems, acquisition, development and implementation. It has a weightage of 12%, 18 questions. Domain four, information systems, operations and business resilience. It has weightage of 26%, around 39 questions. Domain five, protection of information assets. This is about understanding its principle, cybersecurity, best practices and drawbacks is a major focus. This has weightage of 27%, 39 questions. Now, friends, let me tell you a very, very important aspect here. Okay, stay focused. Now, when I say, you know, uh, 27 questions or 18%, 12%, 26%, you know, 26%, that doesn't mean that because if you noticed domain four and domain five, they have 39 questions, 39 questions. So around uh, 78, okay, questions out of total 150 questions, which constitutes around 52%. That doesn't mean only these domains are important and you should directly jump to these domains. Never do that. Each and every single domain is equally important. Now, this domain talks about, you know, auditing process, internal audit process. This is about governance. This domain, number two, governance and management of IT is uh, there for each ISACA certification, be it a CISA, CISM, C-RISC, CGIT, there is a whole separate certification. Each and every domain is equally important. You cannot ignore, you know, you, uh, you cannot uh, say, like this domain is out of uh, only 12%, I can just read, understand, go ahead. No, these are weightage in terms of, you know, how many number of questions they will be asked, but how much, you know, scoring is given to each domain is, you know, that formula only Isaka knows. I will repeat, each domain has certain weightage. Okay, that doesn't mean you will directly jump to domain number uh, four and five because it has 78 questions. No. Each domain is equally important. These domains are linked. What do I mean interlinked? You know the do uh, questions are from domain four, but it is checking your concept of auditing. It is your checking your concept of governance. 